Hello, my name is Dr. Yvonne Ochoa, and I'm very excited to have you here. If you just bumped into my channel, please comment, like, subscribe. Um, this is Psy Care channel. Thank you for joining us. It's about the mind revolution. And today, I'm going to present to you five tips on preparing your children for school in COVID era. What sh essentially, what should parents be looking at? So I'll give you five tips, and these tips are psychological in scope, and the whole idea is to prepare your children for school, right? Tip number one, you really need to get some assertive skills for your children. As you know, COVID is a global pandemic and we call it the invisible virus as well. COVID affects anyone. Some basic assertive skills training would help your kids to stay protective during this era. Assertiveness simply means that insisting on your rights without violating the rights of other people. You must have them know the do's and don'ts or the protocol for COVID. Mask wearing, sanitizing, but more importantly, how are they able to, you know, reflect these protocol um, strategies for themselves and then insist on the other people around them follow through that protocol. One, assertive training may be relevant for your kids. If your kids are below five years, chances are that they would have difficulties, you know, understanding this whole training process. Use pictures to depict what may be, you know, useful for a child under five years to, you know, stay protective. Hand, wa hand washing, sanitizing. Use pictures to reinforce these practices. If the child is below five years, you can also use songs to depict what is required for the child to stay healthy. Using songs may come in very different dimensions. Be careful to pay attention to, you know, the emotions that you elicit during the display of these songs. If you want the child to learn faster, there's something we call affect sharing. Affect simply means emotions. And so the emotions must be that of a positive one so that your child is able to pick on um, this useful tip and then, you know, run along with it. Tip number two, reinforcement. Ensure that for the COVID practices that you teach your child, you reinforce every stage of it. For example, if you want to encourage washing hands, you know, repeatedly, anytime the child washes his or her hands, ensure that every stage of the required process is, you know, um, rewarded with a desired output. You know your child best and so you know what may work for the child and what may not. Pay attention to timing because timing is very important in communicating to children. Um, if that is carried out just after that behavior, it's likely that they'll be able to do an association between the stimulus and the response, right? And so ensure that timing plays a key role for rewards, right? Um, tip number three should be feedback. Ensure that you provide the appropriate feedback. Children learn better when feedback is specific and direct. Ensure that there are no inconsistencies so for example, if you'd want to encourage mask wearing for six hours, you know, 
ensure that there is either verbal feed, positive feedback. For example, Thomas, I like it when you stay protective or Alfred, I like it or I'm very excited that you are able to stay protective for yourself and the very people around you. Move beyond verbal to, you know, using stimulus or anything that you find around you to also reinforce the feedback. So if the feedback is positive, which is what we encourage, ensure that, you know, it is something that is very desired so that a child is able to keep memory and more importantly a correlation between the behavior and then the reward which makes it much easier for you. Tip number four talked about having a COVID talk here and what the COVID talk here talks about is simply goal-oriented talking okay so you have two people or active participant here. One participant is a parent and the other part participant is the child or the children. And what we are saying here is that have the children talk about the experiences of the pandemic. Very, very important. It is important to have the children have a good representation of the pandemic. And by talking it out, you encourage them to express a freelanced idea of what their representations of the pandemic may be. Um, I would encourage that parents should have some goals, you know, set aside for this interesting talk cure or COVID talk cure. And as you go along your play set, ensure that you have you take time to tick your goals to ensure that your goals are being clearly achieved that you can make progress tip number five it is very 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 important to consider the rule of you know um, um, pictures drawings and paintings in mental health we talk about creative arts and that's one of the fundamental ways of keeping our children safe ensure that you give that free space for children to express their views about the pandemic give them some colors to explore their representation of the pandemic and when they do please pay attention to the colors used and pay attention to the ships and then the representation of the ideas. So for example, if they used an older color, which may represent, you know, a very scary representation of the pandemic, you as a parent can suggest in a very nice way, white or pink patches to ensure that, you know, you talk about the critical recovery rates um, of this pandemic. It is important to do that because when you do this mentally they reorient the ideas or they are giving the opportunity to restructure you know the conversations and mental representations of the virus it is important that you ensure that they have a balanced view of this global pandemic and you can do that by ensuring that the right colors are used as well. Thank you for listening in. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.